Hey there guys, this is DW96 from GroovyPost.com and in this video tutorial we're going to be showing you a really easy to do technique which will allow you to Photoshop anything above the clouds. First, we'll start off with some basic photography tips. For the sky, make sure you experiment with all the different modes that your camera has. This will increase the chances of you getting the perfect result you're looking for and can also bring a little bit of difference and originality in your image. And when you're taking a picture of yourself or the object which you want to put up in the sky, make sure you use macro for close-ups and always make sure to have the lights on and shoot in a well-lit environment. This will make editing and removing the background much easier when you import everything into Photoshop. And now for the tips themselves. When you're selecting your object and separating it from its background, make sure you use a tool like the magnetic lasso tool. It will definitely ease up your work and if your background is well separated from your foreground, it can save you minutes of boring selections. If there are any problematic areas in your image after you've finished using the magnetic lasso tool, you can simply zoom in on those areas, then pick up a polygonal lasso tool using either add to selection or subtract from selection, and simply marking out the problematic area, you can quickly get your selection into the shape you want it to. After you're done with your selection, use the refine edge dialog box to make things a little bit better. Choose either to view on black, on white, or on overlay mode. This will make you clearly see what you're selecting. Then mess around with smart radius, smoothness, shifting the edge, and contrast to get your selection more and more perfected. After you're completely finished, go to your layers panel and turn your background into a layer by double clicking on it. Then, right click anywhere on the image and click select inverse. Press the delete key on your keyboard and you'll rid yourself of the background. Once you've finished all work on the object and fully removed it from its background, you can now copy it onto the sky image. Place the hand or object wherever you want and make sure you move it in into the exact area where you want it to be. Here's the last part of the process. Disable your hand layer, leaving you only with the sky layer enabled and selected. Then choose Select Color Range to open the Color Range window. Choose White as the color which we will be ranging and bring your fuzziness a bit down. You can use localized color clusters and slowly decrease the range to a particular area where you want the clouds to overlap your hand. Once you think your selection is good enough, you can click the OK button, then copy your current selection with Ctrl C, paste it with Ctrl V, and grab the newly created layer and put it in front of the hand. Once you enable the hand layer, you will have an effect quite similar to this. If you have a final problematic area like this one after pasting the clouds above the hand, you can use a brush tool somewhere from 1 to 15% flow and a large size 0% hardness to simply mask out the area and make it look good. Just make sure you're using either a purely white color or a slightly blue one. Make sure the layer which is on top of the hand is selected and slowly start painting over it. Don't overdo it because this will make your image look fake. There. Now we finally have our effect completed and we can get this image, save it and put it as our wallpaper. So thanks for watching this video tutorial. There are lots of other cool Photoshop and non Photoshop tutorials at GroovyPost.com. Make sure you check them out and we'll see you next time.